Gurinistas! This is Shirley Super Hit Mama and I'm sharing with you my favorites in the month of May. I'm also going to throw in some holy grails because I don't think I've done a video on my holy grails and I thought I'll just combine them together. So let's begin with my May favorites. One of the things as you all know that I just bought is the uh, Urban Decay's Build Your Own Palette and it is my favorite the formulation is amazing it's velvety it's so blendable and the look that I'm actually wearing today is um, from one of the colors and this is actually a very simple look but I'm just blown away at how beautiful it is um, the one color that I put on my lid right here is mushroom which is this color right here and let me swatch for you it's almost like a metallic gray, um, but then when I blend it out around my crease area with my Holy Grail, which is the original Naked palette, it's a blend between Naked and um, Buck, I believe. Hang on a second. Yep, I pretty much blended Naked and Buck together. The other main favorite um, are the Revlon Kissable just bitten kissable balm stain and I'm actually wearing one of them today and it's in the color love sick number 20 love sick and let me swatch that for you that's the color as I shared with you before this is a balm and a stain crossed together which to me is like the perfect perfect uh, product um, it's a stain but it doesn't have the drying effect like a lip stain and it's a balm that gives you that moisturizing feel you do have to reapply every time you eat or drink which is like any other balm um, but the color is awesome and sometimes I use it like a base color and apply a lip gloss over it because then I get the glossiness of the gloss but the staying power of the balm stain um, so love it I have three in total um, Love Stick is one of them. The other one is Charm, number 35. And let me swatch the color for you. It's right here in the middle, or this next, next to the Love Stick. And the third one is Honey. This is an amazing color. I mean, it is amazing. I was wearing it yesterday by itself too, and it's just awesome right here. So definitely my May favorites and uh, you'll be using it a lot. I'm tempted to go out to get the other colors as well um, and maybe I will. So the next um, item would be brushes. I found two brushes this month that it's actually going to be moved into my holy grail. The first one is a MAC brush number 231. I love this because it has a very small head is synthetic so I can use cream and shadow product and on top of it it is small enough for my eyes now my eyes are not huge so sometimes when brushes are too big and pick up too much product I find there's a lot of fallout and it's harder for me to control the brush head is just nice for the shape of and the size of my eyes and I have a lot of control over where I'm putting my product and of course I can use either uh, powder products or cream products or uh, liquid products so I've been mainly using this to apply my Bobbi Brown um, tight lining it as well as uh, in my um, lash lines so this is an awesome awesome brush for me and I'm so glad I found it, it I've, I've kind of departed from MAC brushes for a while because of the price of the uh, of the brushes I have to admit but this is pretty reasonable it's $18 and I know it's going to last me for a long time. The next one that I found is ta -da -da -da, from Sonia Kashak and it's this interesting brush here. It almost reminds me of a Kabuki brush from Ray Morris, but of course Ray Morris brushes are more expensive than this. And this is actually specifically for contouring and you know and highlighting and blending uh, to contour your cheekbones or anywhere you want to contour. And I've been using this because I really like to have a very chiseled uh, you know uh, contouring to my cheekbone. I like that look. And this is awesome because I pick up the product and I just kind of 
pressed under my cheekbone. I can feel my cheekbone very easily because the brush head is very dense, as you can tell. It's really dense. And so when you push it against your face, you can really feel where your cheekbones are and place your blusher. And then I turned the brush head this way to sweep it out, both sides like this. And a little bit on top, so it gives me, I don't need to really contour the top of my temple a lot, but this is an awesome brush. And again, like I said, it's gradually moving into my Holy Grail collection as well. The other one I have a new May favorite is the Tarte Foundation. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Balancing Foundation with SPF 15 sunscreen. And I got this actually as a set from QVC. It has a uh, like an airbrush brush that comes along with it. Um, I actually like the foundation better than the brush to apply this foundation. Um, I actually like to apply this foundation using something else, which is part of my holy grail. But I just want to share with you this foundation here. I'm, I'm wearing the foundation here today, and this is in the color medium, and it's formulated without mineral oil, petroleum, um, synthetic dye, or synthetic fragrances. So it's really healthy for my skin, and, and I realized recently as I age, my skin gets more sensitive. Uh, to fragrances and mineral oils so I've been very careful with the kind of foundation I've been putting on and this is amazing even though it says full coverage you can actually share it out with the amount of product by controlling how much product you put on your face and um, so this is an amazing find for me and I really enjoy it um, the QVC has a very good deal where you buy the foundation and it comes along with the brush and I think I bought it for like $35. And if you were to go to Sephora, one of the products here, the brush itself I think is about $35. And this is also about $35. So I got it at like a 50% discount. Um, QVC really is a, it's a worthwhile site for you to check out what you would like to get because they really do have some good deals. So this is my May, one of my new May favorites. Moving along, um, I actually found a brush... Um, bronzer, I'm sorry, a bronzer from Bare Minerals. You've seen me use this in my other videos and this is the Deep N. And this is the color. Hope you can tell. It's, it's a deeper color. Um, doesn't have a red base to it. I, I'm kind of looking for a red base uh, bronzer because I've been told that it's a more natural look. But I find this you know works very well for me and as you all know Bare Minerals have a lot of good properties in their products and it's more of a natural product and like I said my skin is getting more sensitive so I'm really enjoying using this as a bronzer for this month and I cannot believe that I have not tried this yet truly I've used Bare Mineral for a while for over 10 years and this product while rested came out a while back there you go and I've recently just, you know, switched on to this because I, I was told once that, you know, I really don't need it, but I do need it now. And this is an amazing concealer for my under eye. It doesn't cake up on me, so it doesn't show all the fine lines that I've been gathering and I've been noticing under my eyes. And it's amazing. And of course, I'll be sharing with you a Holy Girl product um, that I've been using to apply this under my eye and I think those two blend very well together but if you're just using a regular powder uh, fluffy brush to apply this uh, on top of your regular cream concealer it works really well really sets it very well so highly recommend well rested from Bare Minerals my last item from my May favorite is a NYX br uh, blush sorry can't seem to pronounce that today and it's in this beautiful beautiful pink color right here it when I first bought it I thought it has a, a shimmer to it. it actually has a satin finish and it's NYX bourgeois pig <laughs> really enjoy using it I love the name um, and that's what I'm wearing today I don't know if you can see right around here on top of my bronzer um, and I feel like it matches very well with the Revlon 
uh, balm stain in the color Love Stick, uh, Love Sick. That's the color I'm using on my lips, and that's the color I'm using on my cheeks. Love, 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 love.